Welcome to Bargain Empire. We're going to be giving you an overview and review of Garden Bell by 25th Century Games. So this is a tile placement um, game where your strategy game where you're trying to create flowers from or plants basically from your seedlings. So you're going to start out with seedlings, then you're going to buy plants, and then you're going to eventually go all the way to the, the flower tiles is your end goal is to try to complete as many flower tiles as you can. So each player gets a wheelbarrow that starts out on this dark orange spot, two water, two sunlight, a flower pot, and a watering can. So the resources in this game is water and sun, and the cost of things that the seedlings are free to grab. The cost of things to purchase are shown at the, these are the, the flowers, are at the bottom of the flower. So this is the flower market. And then you're going to be completing certain flowers that you're going to be stacking in your garden and to meet the requirements of your plant. So basically each player starts out with a starting hand of plants. We did it where we picked all the ones with the same symbol, but you can draw them randomly if you want. Um, but we had a total of five. So you're trying to complete those five plants if you can and get as many points, prestige points as you can with with flowers, um, meeting objectives on your plants. There's additional points you can, prestige points that you can get um, on some of them if you meet certain requirements. Some of them are just a flat prestige, like this one's 16 prestige. Um, any uncovered plants will um, have prestige on them as well. So if they're not covered up by, or I'm sorry, flowers, if they're not covered up by a plant, you also get those prestige points that are on those that are that are uncovered. So you're basically starting out here. You're gonna have these seedlings on these six different spots. You're gonna be just going from seedling to seedling or you can go from spot to spot. If you go to the seedling, you can choose to either take the tile and place it in your garden or you could choose to take the resources. You will need quite a few resources to be able to buy the flowers to complete your plants. So it's a balance of um, getting both. Uh, if you land on one of the dots, then you could choose your, your action is to either purchase a plant, or I'm sorry, a flower, keep calling them the wrong thing, or completing one of your plant tiles. To When you purchase one of the flowers, you have to also meet the guideline, not only pay the resources on the bottom, there's also particular seedlings that it requires. So this requires two of these blue guys, which I don't have on my thing. I do, on mine. Can I see that? No. So here, I'm gonna grab, grab this one. This I'm one grab has, Anthony's here. This one has it already. So say I have this, I can see that, right? So the rule is it has to go across two tiles and it has to meet, but you have to pay the resources and you have to meet the flowers that are on top, or seedlings, sorry. So you place that there. Then next time, if say you're trying to complete a plant, so this one requires one of those and one of these. So say I purchase next turn, this one from the garden, where it can be completed by either having those two seedlings or those two seedlings and four water. Then my next turn, say this is still in my plant garden, um, I can, it doesn't cost anything to do the plant, you just have to go to the next dot and you place that on top and then you'll get six prestige for this particular one, it's worth six prestige plus you get two prestige for each purple seedling or plant. So you're gonna to wanna to try to focus on getting those purple ones if you can from the seedlings or the plants because you're gonna get two prestige points each for those. Two players cannot occupy the same space, so that's right. what makes it a little so bit So you have to skip over, but the dots don't matter on those. Mm -hmm. You could do whatever action you're gonna do. Where it comes, 
where it matters is on these seedlings. If you're wanting a particular seedling tile, um, say you don't want this one, say you're here, then you don't want this one. You could just keep placing resources on all the spaces that you don't want until you get to the one you do to skip over those. It's like pay to pay to skip over. You have to use your uh, resources that are in your tableau area. Right. So that's another reason you, why you want to build up resources because it does come in handy. Once there's four of these empty, the game is over. So once one of them is empty, you could you still land on this spot. You'd have to pay to skip it if you were here and you're wanting to go to the, not on the dot, if you wanted to go to the next uh, petal. You can either take the resources or you could do what the text is on that. That text on the very top is all the same, so it's the text in the bottom that right. pretty much pertains to what your option yeah, is. Yeah, this just says after all tiles have been re removed from this petal. So there's things you can do on each of those, but you could still pay if you want the resources to skip those and get to the tile if you want. Um, so that game just continues until four of those are empty. Then everyone will count their prestige points. The highest player wins. I didn't go over these. These are worth two points at the end of the game if you don't use them. The watering can allows you to move one uncovered seedling tile from one location to another, or you can trade two of the seedling tiles, the, the spaces on them. The flower pot allows you to go to any petal on the market. That's It, it doesn't matter if it's occupied. So you, you could go here if you wanted, even though someone else is on it, without paying the resources to skip. So it's kind of a one free pass to, to go wherever you want, um, but you only get to use that once per game and then then you have to discard it. So if you don't use them, there were two points. If you do, uh, we used ours. So they're very beneficial, especially the, the flower pot. When a certain tile comes up, you're gonna wanna grab it. Cause some of them are a little more difficult to, to get than others, I felt. Yeah. Um, like sun, the sunflowers for the flowers for us were the hardest to come by. Um, but you are taking some of the tiles out before you play the game randomly. You are removing some tiles. So it may just have been that we removed maybe more sunflowers than the other flowers. So that's going to happen. That's what will make this game different each time is you are randomly removing some tiles based on player count. Um, and you do start with your starter tile. I don't know if I mentioned that. That's how your garden begins. Um, and then you're just going to be playing tiles off of that. Um, throughout the game, uh, well, building it out. Then you start off with that, and then you're just building out. So what did you think of this game? Uh, I think the quality is really cool. I like how it has the uh, wagons that you actually build. and But I wonder, hopefully it fits back in pretty well. Um, but I really like the mechanics of it. Uh, the mechanics are very simple, but yet still strategic enough. Um, it is like a tile placement, but it's more, I feel like a point side of the game. This is just, just so many different points you, you're able to uh, obtain. Um, but replayability, high replayability, because there's so many tiles and I'm guessing the 25th century game will probably come out with an expansion that adds uh, some new, comp uh, you know, some new mechanics or something to this because uh, I can see this being very popular, which it is. It has a 7.3 on BGG, and so and it's been out for a year, so it has a strong enough uh, audience. So overall total, I'm getting this like an 8.0. I think that this is a phenomenal game, uh, introductory game, uh, because it can be taught very easily to people. Um, this literally, you could teach it within five minutes or less and get up and playing. Uh, setup time is probably the only downside. It does take like, I would say, eight to ten minutes. Yeah, you have to dig through a lot of tiles. Yeah, that's the only downside. But overall total, it's just a great game. Um, I think a lot of people are going to love this, especially if they like point salad, simple uh, complexity, and just uh, just having fun. So highly recommend it. Yes, I, I enjoyed this game. It was relaxing. I just realized we've got this board backwards, but... <laughs> 
this is where the plant market goes and they actually even have the six little partial cards marked which is kind of cool and a reminder um, to take your resources oh when you do complete a plant you get any three resources of your choice so that's a nice little reminder on the board to, to do that but this board is two-sided this is the two-player three-player side and the uh, other side is the four-player side I think it's two to four players this yeah. game but it was enjoyable it's relaxing like I said and very easy to learn this would be very easy to teach the going digging through all the tiles was a bit much at first um but now that we've got it but that's because the insert you have to put that insert together so when we first opened the box it was all one big pile of stuff because anthony after he unboxed it he just piled it all back in there and i'm sure that's it would be that way no matter what because you had to punch all this out right yeah so so it's your first game's gonna take longer because you do need to build that insert. You gotta build these wheelbarrows. But once you have that done, I believe now that the insert is put in there correctly, we'll be able to sort these more and we won't have to dig through all the tiles as much. Uh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of bags. So Yeah, I guess it was a lot this has a lot of tiles in this game. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be using uh, several uh, bags. <laughs> yeah, which will make it easier next time. But that was the only thing that I found a a bit much at first but again that was the first game um that you'll go through all that and like you said i hope these these are really cool so i hope they do fit in the box and we don't have to keep taking them apart and putting them together that'll be interesting to see if they fit but <laughs> or if they stay like that right <laughs> but i would give this game an eight it's there's it's a it's a really good game it's Definitely, like he said, if you're wanting something that's not too complex, but still has a point salad aspect, there's no take that in this game. It's just literally just trying to make the best garden you can and the best gardener wins. So it's kind of a race game in that sense. But uh, even when you complete all of your plants, you still get to keep playing because the game doesn't end until there's four of these exposed. Like Anthony actually completed all of his before the game ends. So he basically spent the rest of the game just getting tiles. And that would allow you to basically work on some of these prestige goals on your plants, which is what I did once. I realized I couldn't complete my fifth one. It was a sunflower one and it was impossible the way I laid out my garden and there weren't um, plants there for me to purchase to be able to to any more to be able to do it I didn't lay mine out properly for that so I just focused on getting as much prestige as I can um, by completing there's two that you can build on like this one for having holes that are completely surrounded by tiles you get more the more you have, the more points you get. That's I got 28 prestige points just by doing that. And then the other one is for each purple plant. So you could focus on, you know, getting the purple. So it allows you to basically build more and more prestige points after you've already completed your plant. So that was actually, I like that aspect of it. It, yeah. kind of, it makes it where it's even more strategic in a way because it, it's not just a race game. That's what makes this game so good because you have plenty of opportunity to build those prestige points if you plan plan correctly when you're laying down your flowers. But um, I just like that it's a relaxing game. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of those that you put music, you know, drink. Take the, <laughs> you don't well, drink. I don't drink. <laughs> she drinks wine. She can drink for both of us. And then, you know, just play the game. Yeah, so I would highly suggest checking out this game if it's, looks like something that you you might enjoy playing. We will put the link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, please give this video a like. Feel free to leave a comment or question. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being a loyal fan. If not, we hope you will subscribe. We do put out a lot of content and cover quite a few of the Kickstarter games that come out. Thank you again for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.